Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a good day to you Dr. Laili We are from the HH group and we're going to present to you the suku issuing process My name is Juriani Benti Azmi and I'll start over with the um, a quick background of the company, right? So the name of the issuer would be the HH Expressway Sremerhat and it is a special purpose designated company which um, has been established to handle all the design, constructions work, all the management activities including all the operations activity as well as the maintenance of the uh, West Coast Expressway starting from Assam Jawa Interchange towards the Tanjung Gara Interchange where um, this project will be handled and this is all stated in the agreement. Um, next, I'll pass over to my team member to continue. The proceeds from the suku issuance will be used to finance all costs associated with the land acquisition, operation, design, construction and development costs and expenses in relation to the West Coast Expressway project. Secondly, to pay profits, fees, expenses, commissions and all other amounts payable under the suku istisna. Thirdly, to finance all such project related expenditure such as interest, taxes, commission and other fee due under the banking facilities as well as the contractor payment, insurance costs and other contingencies. And lastly, to fulfill the issuer's working capital needs in connection with the project. Hi, I'm Kim. I will be presenting reason for issuing SUKO. The reason is to raise involving capital for the project costs, example, plant, machinery and equipment as well as human capital costs. Second will be the cost saving. It's to actually eliminating the bank as a middleman and raise funding directly from investor. Return paid to the investor is actually less than total effective interest paid to a bank. Bank may impose stricter requirements and higher collaterals are needed in order to borrow from them. Third will be a bank reserve the rights to recall a financing facility at any point in time. No recourse to the company if the project is stalled or is unable to meet its deadline. The last one will be the company has the flexibility to structure the suko. The maturity date of the suko could be after the projected completion date. Thank you. Hi, I'm Hafiz. Uh, this is the general framework of the suko issuance. The Sharia contract used is Istisna. It is a purchase contract whereby a buyer will be delivered an asset in a certain period. The suko issuance date are uh, proposed to be issued on the 1st of August. 2021, uh, totaling of uh, 301 million ringgit Malaysia, which is will be uh, subscribed by the potential subscriber. The profit weights will be advised upon finalization and uh, prior to the issuance of the system. The tenure will be uh, 11 years until the maturity date. Meanwhile, the identified asset stated here is the West Coast Highway Package 3. Uh, which starts from uh, Asam Jawa interchange towards the Tanjung Karang interchange. Uh, okay, this is the Isisna uh, contract flow and structure. As we can see, there are two parties involved, and there are four main steps in the completion of the agreement on the Isisna Suku issuance for H H Expressway and Berhad. Okay, under the structure, the issuer and the primary subscriber. Will uh, shall enter istisna contracts to facilitate the suku istisna issuance. Under the principles of istisna, the issuer shall first enter into an istisna uh, sale agreement with the primary subscriber. Then uh, the identified assets shall be constructed pursuant to the terms of the concession agreement and the supplemental concession agreement. Then the Istisna sale price will be uh, paid according to an agreed payment schedule. Meanwhile, the issuer uh, will issue suku, suku Istisna to evidence its uh, obligations to pay the Istisna sale price to the primary uh, subscriber. The issuer will then in enter an Istisna purchase uh, agreement 
with the primary subscriber under which the issuer agrees to construct and deliver to the primary subscribers the identified assets which is the highway uh, delivery of the identified assets to the issuer under the istisna uh, sale agreement will take place upon the primary subscriber on a parallel basis basically the istisna purchase price will be utilized by the issuer towards funding the project cost. My name is Choi Mei Ying. I will be presenting the first part of Suku issuance process. There are four steps in Suku issuance process. The first step is capital raising. We need to appoint advisor, which in our company, we appoint CIMB Islamic Bank Berhad as our Suku advisor. Then the funding amount is determined. We need to raise the capital amounting to 301 million ringgit Malaysia with the objective to build the last sections of West Cross Expressway. We welcome both institutional investors and individual investors to invest in the suku. The second step is structuring the suku. We appoint CIMB Islamic Bank Berhad which backed by the CIMB Islamic Sharia Committee as the Sharia Advisor. Then we need to produce the term sheet and structured diagram to get the preliminary Sharia approval. In the last part of structuring step, we need to finalize the Sukuk documentations, obtain the Sharia football and legal opinions, and to get the initial rating. I am Chai Jieling to continue the Sukuk issuance process. The step, prospectus. Start due diligence exercise, prepare prospectus disclosure, then obtain necessary approvals like internal and external. After that, submit prospectus and receive regulator approvals. Last step, offering. Discuss marketing strategy with book runner. The currency using Malaysia Ringgit maturity is 10 years. Suku creating rating is double A. Set up principal term and condition document between issuer and investor. Appoint CMB as our advisor. Ad hoc investor will be 70% is institutional investor and 30% is individual investor. The SPV and advisor is CMB Islamic Bank Berhad. The trustee is Malaysian Trustee Bank Berhad. The Center Depository and Paying Agent is Bank Negara Malaysia. The solicitor is Adam Centra Law Firm. The last step, launch the suku to the invest, present to the investor and settlement and close it.